What's going on, weirdos? It's your man Shane Kid Walker here with Hollywood TV bringing you yet another video. And today, we're going to get into our predictions for this Sunday's WWE Backlash 2020. This will be the first Backlash in two years, and there is a lot to unpack and there's a lot to predict. So here we go. I'm kind of going to try and keep this one brief, kind of get straight to the point here. It's just, this is just a predictions video. And I kind of want you guys to feel where I'm coming from this time, just like last week with NXT TakeOver in your house. In the first contest, we have Apollo Crews defending his United States Championship against Andrade, who will be accompanied by Zelina Vega. Now, I'm going to make this one short, sweet, to the point. I'm going to go with my man Apollo Crews defending his championship. He's been on rather a really good run lately, and I kind of don't see... The creative geniuses uh, backstage and the producers backstage taking a championship off of Cruz this soon. He, I think he won a championship maybe three weeks ago, if my memory serves me correct. So I kind of don't see him losing here to the former champion Andrade after Andrade won the number one contendership against his, uh, his tag team partner, Angel Garza and Kevin Owens. But in a major way, Apollo Cruz goes over and defends his United States title. Up next, we have Jeff Hardy taking on Sheamus in a match that has become very, 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 very personal in this little mini feud since Jeff Hardy's actual return. Now, a couple weeks ago, Sheamus, well, who was believed to be Sheamus, kind of framed Jeff Hardy for uh, drunk driving this, running over Elias with the car, but Wonka Wonka was actually Sheamus, yada, yada, yada. We saw that coming. Anyway, I kind of I kind of actually see Sheamus actually going over in this one, even though he's the heel, uh, to kind of keep the feud kind of going and kind of give Sheamus an edge over the veteran Hardy. So I say Sheamus to defeat Hardy this Sunday at Backlash. Up next, we have Braun Strowman taking on the tag team of The Miz and John Morrison in a two-on-one handicap match for the Universal title. Now, weirdos, get this. Every time I saw a match like this, be it on uh, weekly television or on pay-per-view itself, the champion always finds a way to go over and defend the title. And this will be no different, I do believe, Braun Strowman, who's red hot, believe it or not. He's been booked rather strong as Universal Champion, much to my surprise, actually. So I kind of see him defeating uh, the tag team of Miz and Morrison and retaining his, well, the Blue Universal Championship this Sunday at Backlash, I go on Braun Strowman 100%. Up next, we have Bailey and Sasha Banks defending their newly won Women's Tag Team Championships against the former champions Alexa Bliss and other former champions, the double iconics Billy Kay and Peyton Royce in a triple threat match for the Women's Tag Team titles. Now, again, Bailey, who's just like Strowman, been red hot ever since her heel turn maybe nine months ago and again Sasha Banks who returned changed her hair color her hair is blue now I love it love to see it basically it fits the Smackdown brand she bleeds Smackdown blue I don't see them losing the championships just as soon as they got them so I'm going to go with Bailey and Sasha to defend the women's tag team championships but I'm not going to count out the double iconics as top contenders after this match after they do the job here so, if I had to choose, definitely Bailey and Sasha to defend the World Tag Team Championships. Up next, we have Drew McIntyre defending his WWE Championship against the almighty Bobby Lashley. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is Bobby Lashley's first WWE Championship match. And get this, 13 years. He had a championship match right before his injury in 2007 against then-champion John Cena. Now, Here's why I'm going to go with Drew McIntyre to defend his championship against Lashley. Is Drew McIntyre, since he beat Lesnar for the title, y'all, he has been booked like an unbeatable badass. That is exactly how you book a face champion. He is the top dog on Monday Night Raw right now and for the right reasons. He's look, book, been booked to look strong. He's been booked to look unbeatable. He's been look. He's been booked to look to beat the odds. You see what I'm saying? And they're not super seen in the guy. And what I mean by that is they're not making him look like a superhero. They're making him look like Rocky in Rocky Two or Rocky Three. They're making him look like a badass. That's what you do with your top champion and your top guy on the brand. 
Up next, we have Oscar defending her Raw Women's Championship against Nia Jax. Now, weirdos, I'm gonna be honest with you, with you all, with you guys. I'm really not looking forward to this match. I can honestly care who goes over in this match because of Nia Jax's track record, and honestly, kind of don't want to see this match. So I'm just going on to give my prediction um, for Oscar to actually defend the championship, and I actually hope she wins. And it's not that I don't like Nia Jax. It's just that, oh, simply, I'm going to put it out there. She cannot work. She cannot work. She's She hurts people. She's unsafe to work with right now. And, of course, the creative geniuses at the WWE decide to give her a world championship match. So, Asuka, ha she has to go over. She has to hold on to the championship or at least until Charlotte decides to challenge for it again and she beats Oscar again in the near future. Wonka Wonka. In what is being billed as the greatest wrestling match of all time, we have two of the arguably all-time greats in Randy Orton and Edge going one-on-one -on -one in a rematch from this past WrestleMania. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for better or worse, at WrestleMania, these two did put on a show in their epic, albeit long, Last man standing match. Now, here's the thing. This feud began maybe the night after the Royal Rumble this past year. Now, here's my pick to win this match. I have to go with Randy Orton, and here's why, weirdos. I know he's the heel in all of this. Here's why. He has to get his heat back somehow, okay? I would love to see these two go in a two out of three type series to determine who's the better man now edge had the edge no pun intended in the last man standing match this is a pure wrestling match this ain't sports entertainment this ain't this ain't catches catch can this ain't this ain't none of that this ain't scripted so to speak this is a wrestling match and it has been so long personally that I've seen the WWE actually have a wrestling match. I am all here for this. Again, they're kind of putting themselves up against pressure, calling this the greatest wrestling match ever. You're going against the likes of Shawn Michaels and, and Kurt Angle, WrestleMania 21, or Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker, WrestleMania 25 and 26, Ricky Steamboat and Randy Savage, WrestleMania 3. Okay, those are considered to be all-time greats ever. So when you put the title greatest wrestling match ever, just know you're setting a high bar. Not saying that they can't surpass it, but this one needs to be a home run. My pick to win the greatest wrestling match ever is the legend killer himself, Randy Orton. Do you all agree? If so or if not, please, by all means, tell me in the comment section below. If you have any recommendations on what we should do next here at Hollywood TV, please leave your recommendations in the comments as well. Now, this Tuesday, we're going to stick with the Backlash pay-per-view as I will be releasing the reviews and results video at 12.30 p.m. Central Time on that day. Now, the next Tuesday, we're going to be looking at the top 10 best TV shows of the 2019 and 2020 season. And the next day, which is that Wednesday, we're going to be looking at the inverse of the best. We're going to be looking at the top 10 worst TV shows of the 2019-2020 season. Until then, remember, Hollywood is a weird place. I'm your man Shane Kit Walker, and this is Hollywood TV.